Boom. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. Part 16. Star Wars. Knights of the Old Republic 2. The Sith Lords. Here we go. We're on Duxin. We were going to Onderon, but we ended up getting shot down onto the moon of the planet. Which is where we are now. So, uh, I was just helping these guys out, including Mandalore, with some shit. And, uh, trying to prove myself so that I can get a shuttle to Onderon, you know, because that's where I'm trying to go. Kelborn says you are worthy enough to face champion. You may fight in the battle circle again. Yeah, that's... okay. Yeah. You have enough honor to face a champion of a previous day. Kelborn. What are your turns? Swords only. Kelborn. No items or the Were you Jedi's born of force. Kel? And no sword of the Jedi's choosing. Just a simple long blade. Kelborn chooses to fight with the blade. You may fight with fist, foot, and the blade provided. No using the force or any other item. Even without a lightsaber right now. I got you guys. You guys are easy. The match between Jedi and Kelborn is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. I underestimated you. A difficult admission for a Mandalorian. If you fight in the circle again this day, you will face the bravest and strongest of us, Braylor. Oh well, that is what I will do then. Hey, Kelborn, how do you feel about being... or getting your ass handed to you? Oh, I see now why we couldn't win against you during the war. We won't fight again. I'm... so what are... No, I can't. We're taught not to. Instead of any of Here to watch a fight or... Ah! We eagerly look forward to this fight. Braylor, you are our champion. How would you fight the Jedi? No terms today, Sergeant. Ah! I would fight the Jedi with all <laughs> of That's her arsenal. That's pretty stupid. Braylor will fight you as you are. Still no killing and no leaving the battle circle. But you may use whatever else you want. That's pretty dumb. This guy's gonna lose faster than everyone else because he's letting me use anything I want. Oh, except that it unequipped my shit. Between Jedi and Braylor is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have defeated the most worthy of us. You walk away the champion of the battle circle this day. We will not forget your deeds or the honor you have earned this day. Thanks. So it's supposed to make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside or something. Alright, did I prove myself enough? Can we go? The fuck, man? Just, just kidding, just kidding. I think we're good there. That should be everything we need to do. Hey, bro. You defeated Braylor in the battle circle. Either you're very lucky, or you're a lot tougher than you look. Zuka told me you helped out with some repairs I didn't know, around I didn't the base. I was hoping tough. you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. The gate guard said you managed to kill a Zakig. Those are tough beasts, Jedi. You've earned some respect around here. How many Kanoks did you have to kill to find those parts for Zuka? That was a tremendous help. You're I welcome, you're forget. welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. You've made quite a reputation around here. You did better than I thought you could. I, I was planning on heading to Isis tomorrow. But I'm used to being underestimated. And take you now. You won't be able to get to the Ebon Hawk from the city. If you need to grab anything from your ship, I'd do it now. <laughs> Boop. 
Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Colonel Tobin is General... Back when... When you... To... It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from... They disagree about many things. We're not which I don't <clears throat> All right, I need to gain influence with these guys, so I need to do something that'll make them happy even if it's even if it comes at the cost of a light side point. in the secret area. What do you want? God damn it. Probably lets me in there later when he joins the party. Spoiler. Are you ready to I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that we'll head out. Oh yeah, I need to gain influence with him too, God. How are At least the he's the last party member. They check right. out Mandalore, all systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again. United as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi. Such a defeat was merciful. An echo of the end. When your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V. And I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed, the future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since. A quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even following them into darkness. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he betrayed you at the end, cast you down, left you broken at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things. And I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path. And I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Mm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth time. 
targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Oh man, I was muted that whole time. I wasn't really. I was kind of thinking out loud. It's like, okay, so Ma oh, I'm just gonna just start over. I mean, no one knows what I said because I was muted. But so it looks like Mandalore is a required party member. I was thinking who else to add. Bayodur maybe, but I feel like his interests would conflict with Mandalore's. So I don't know if it's worth bringing him. It might be worth bringing another dark side, but then they might take the influence from him when I do something dark sided. So I'm I'm not sure who the best person to take is. It might be good to take Goto because I feel like he might have some tolerance for some dark side stuff more than some of the others, without stealing the influence from Mandalore. Maybe I uh, I have to hope. Um. Okay. I really want Beodor to turn to a Jedi, though, which he needs a little more influence. He needs just one more push over the edge. And uh, I think he'll get there. So. Uh, anyway. Alright. I'll take a chance and take Beodor with me. And hope I don't screw myself influence wise. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. 
The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies, so many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. I fear by then it will be too late. Yeah, you can do the planets in a different order, but it, it just feels like there's a proper order in KOTOR 1 and KOTOR 2. Like, every time I play, I always General do the planets in the same order. It just feels right. Too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name Andron. of Dagon Gent. His finally on here. the other side of the market square. We tried to come here last time, and then we ended up landing on Duxon. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. I wonder why. Doesn't seem very nice of them. Yeah. They should just let bygones be bygones. Oh, you're just like KOTOR 1. Candorous. Well, almost. Get two skill points per level. Slightly better. I guess, uh, guess we gotta give you some demolition skill. Alright, he's not a dual wielder because he uses uh, blaster rifles. Could put toughness right away, so he's a solid bet. Can't go wrong with toughness. Oh, he's gonna get a lot of feats, huh? Alright, I'm gonna have to think about. So, toughness, we'll do conditioning. Oh, I can't even do the next toughness. <clears throat> uh, he'll probably end up getting a dual strike, this, because that's good for someone like him who gets a ton of feats. Uh, I guess he'll also use a ranged skill. Oh, can't. Okay. <laughs> conditioning it is for now. Yeah, he'll do conditioning. God, is, does he get a feat every level? Holy shit. Um, okay. Just because we want the extra modifier. Damn, he does get a feat every level. It's crazy. This is done. <laughs> Master Power Blast. Master Conditioning. This guy's nuts. With defeats. I ah, he's so much strength for nothing. Dexterity is so low for a ranged. Yeah, we'll do dual strike now. Because it'll commonly be attacking the same target as me. Or someone, anyway. Considering his stats aren't great dex wise, I might as well give him all the boosts we can get. Plus six bonus to hit. Being attacked by another party member. Yep. I thought that said something different for a second. I was like, wait a second. What? Alright, so that's done now. 
could do perfect close combat since he already has a point invested in that. Uh, next skill will be new, I guess. Gotta figure out what's next. Or next feat will be new. Alright, uh, let's check out the bottom ones, because there's some, always some weird ones down here. Class skill, which I'm not going to waste time with. Mobility, healing rate, okay. Oh, precise shot. Should be putting points into this. Derp. Well, I guess that's where it, his next... Oh, it's, of course, now that I have something I want to put points into, I'm not, I'm not getting a feat. <laughs> oh, now it's every other level, is it? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh, doing this to me now. Huh. I see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Whatever, we only have two more points left, I guess, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Still, what the hell, man? <laughs> Alright, so... We only have one point left to put into a precise shot after this. <laughs> I don't think... yeah, we need more XP. Not high enough level. My party. <laughs> Oh, hey, can I do people's levels right now? Let's see. Get, uh, get out of here. Do you have a level? No. Do your waste of a level. Okay. Okay. Oh, he should be getting precise shot too, huh? Good, because I probably would have wasted a point in something else. So he's he's way behind on it, but I guess. Better late than never, as they say. Yeah, let's, let's knock out some quick leveling here. Yep, yep. Okay, he's working on conditioning. So, therefore, let's do conditioning. <laughs> Continue that. Good choice, self. Okay, you're not the worst at using computers now. Good job, Hanhar. I am ready. Good, you're ready. I like when I like when my teammates are ready. toughness I don't have weapon focus lightsaber I guess I should before I finish conditioning yeah Good. I had, had him learn to heal even though it's absolutely dark sided here. Okay, finish off those two force powers. Still has two or three levels left to gain. Alright, what else do we want to invest in? 20 seems to be like my goal for, for skills for 
random party members, and then I seem to be switching to other stuff. Guess we'll just evenly do demolitions and repair, because uh, who knows? Probably won't need most of these skills anyway at this point. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We should have him learn. Um, oh, he has insanity already. Could try have, have him learn death field maybe. Force storm is good. Yeah, let's do force storm. He needs a melee move too. I guess we'll. That's a invest in power attack. With his next feats. Ah, oh, Mr. Force over here. So two force points sometimes. <laughs> I didn't see that message until now. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> hmm. He's already invested into Flurry, huh? Finish off toughness first. Boom, 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 20, 20, 20. Are you calling me the best KOTOR player in the world? Because I am. No. I still don't get it, but hey, thanks. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah, we'll finish off Flurry and then we'll go into conditioning, I guess. Flurry was my move of choice in KOTOR 1. Not so in this. some leveling to do on Vsys. Been a while since so I threw in the party. Uh, new force power. Uh, maybe she can also learn heal. 
like uh, like disciple. Why not? Why not? Hi. Damn, I have five or six levels to give credit to. Been neglectful of some people. Man, she's the force power queen. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. She definitely needs force storm. A little slow to do that. I was prioritizing buffs on her when I was actually using her in the party. Uh, feats are rare for her. Toughness is done. Um, I guess she benefits from dueling because she can only use one single-handed weapon. So that's why I put a second point into it. So let's finish that off. Uh, force immunity is good, but let's finish Force Storm. Uh, okay. Oh, she's been doing healing too. She'd benefit more from conditioning than from a melee move or something. So. Conditioning it is. Oh, let's finish off healing. Crazy. Alright. Come back in here, Bayadur. I seriously hope I'll have an opportunity to get influence with you because if not, I'm gonna be really pissed off at you. So get get some influence, dude. That's an order. Order. I need you to become a Jedi so I can start leveling you again. It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. You are human, are you? Your face looks... Oh, never mind that. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been... That wasn't very everyone. nice, by the way. I'm talking about my face here. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Oh, it's become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Nothing new. Our space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slow. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly, if I were you, friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. I see. There's strict food and water rationing. And General Vaclu's troops have been very thorough in finding Republic dissidents. Bombing's very common. If you want, sir. Great. I have questions for you. Huh. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? Huh. 
We'd never faced Jedi before, and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with Exar Kun. And by that time, he was completely stiff. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and compassionate leaders. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above all else, victory to them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clans. We would have brought a new age of strength and expansion to the Republic. With the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. I ask you this. Is the galaxy better hey, off don't blame the me. Republic's victory? Just think about it. Now is there something else you needed? Yeah, what are you? The Republic is a stagnant beast that were it not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. Only Revan is swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought, while the others cowered in their halls, afraid to meet us head on. Commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? The Republic thinks my people are dead, scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way, as it will be always. Which is one of the reasons I travel with you. It pleases me that you recognize the truth. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. But we live in times of action. And I've said enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? Yeah, what do you... We have suffered defeats before. Our spirit. The end of the Mandalorian Wars is something new, unknown to us. Revan fought us like a true warrior and defeated us on our own terms. Revan embodied our philosophy and showed us our own weaknesses. Then he exploited them. It was a painful lesson. With Mandalore dead, our weapons taken and our pride destroyed, many lost their way. But I will change that. Only Mandalore can command the clan. There was no new Mandalore for many years. I can tell you want to know more, but we can talk more later about this. Now is there something else you needed? Being Mandalore is the greatest honor. When Revan executed Mandalore before our eyes, he took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. But without leadership and direction, the clan... Mandalorians have been around too long to be so dependent on such a tradition. Well, it wouldn't be unheard of for a new helmet to be created. It was determined to find the real thing. Claiming the helmet is a traditional way for the new Mandalore to be chosen. Even in defeat, we held on to our traditions. During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. 
I was there with him when he defeated Darth Malak, and traveled with him afterwards. Eventually, he told me where he had taken the helmet. He set me upon this path. We could talk about Revan and other things later, if you like. You know enough for now. Now is there something else you can do? A <laughs> <The> Bible. <laughs> nope. Can't say I read my Bible. I am Mandalore, but I will not be your errand boy. Now is there... <laughs> I thought that the Force would be enough of a weapon. Right. That makes sense. We wouldn't want to let them down. Here. Now we're... Like us, the people of Onderon are warriors. Early in their history, they built ISIS to protect them from the beasts that swarmed on their world. No matter how far they've progressed, they're fundamentally still warriors standing watch on their battlements. They don't like outsiders, and their inability to take ideas from other cultures gives them a fundamental disadvantage in warfare. They fell quickly during the Mandalorian Wars, despite their martial skills. Their technology and doctrine are not in the same league as Mandalorians. Now is there something else you needed? I fought countless battles. Ones most didn't walk away from. The wounds add up. And even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. I may have been stronger in my youth, and stupider. But now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? Wow, no influence with all yeah, of that. What do you like? You again. You don't need to see me if you want to leave this city. Once you get to the Star Wars, you're done with it. Wow, that's a weird way to sell stuff. That was insulting. What do you know about these people? Great. Oh, hey. Is this a... Is this an influence opportunity? <laughs> huh, huh, hang on. <laughs> let's, let's see. <laughs> I feel like I have to bring in some, one of my dark sided companions, but maybe Mandal. Oh, no, it doesn't say anything about this spot. Damn it. <laughs> I want to I wanna be evil here and get influence if I can, but I, I don't know if that's possible. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. Um, Alright, let's just see what happens with my current party configuration. Fair winds to you off the These beasts you see here are for delivery, but the Republic vessels that transport them have to wait for them. Stop gathering beasts now, but they still fill the city. For they have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet it depends. Perhaps it is the city itself. I These beasts you see, but we have I am a beast rider. I have flown great distances gathering the animals you see here. We keep hoping that Andorians or Telosians get through the Space Force's searches so that we can sell them. Good. 
Telos needs new ecosystems if the reclamation efforts on the planet are to succeed. Ethor, Onderon, and Duxon are rich in food chains necessary to create new life on Telos and sustain it. Although some of your terms are unknown to me, what you say is true. Telos was attacked by Darth Malak in the Jedi Civil War. The surface was completely destroyed. The Athorians have been searching for appropriate wildlife to create a new Telos. But their merchants are stalled by the blockade. That'll be another death blow to Telos. New ecosystems can be brought to the planet. The Ethereans are only part of the equation. Your friend is correct. Much harm is being done on both sides as long as the blockade is in effect. Our people have been here for centuries. Though we were not always one with the wilds of Onderon. In ancient times, our people were criminals, prisoners who were cast out of Isis and sentenced to die by the beasts in the wilds. But our ancestors learned how to survive and even tame the mighty beasts. They became our strength and companions. We fought endlessly with Isis for resources and survival. But two generations ago, an Isis princess named Galia and a great beast rider hero, Oron Kira, married. They united our peoples, but now things are unraveling. Even the beasts can smell it in the air. Many beast riders have fallen to the city ways, and some are now no more than common thugs. Queen Talia and her cousin General Vaklu argue in open councils. The beasts stir from the changes in the wind and cannot be calmed. Many beast riders find it harder to enter the city each day. No one is to leave the city without the starport visas. It chokes passage in and out of ISIS. Also, let's be honest. If I, uh, if I held a Bible in my hands, it would just spontaneously combust from all my, all my sins, probably. So, it's probably best that I don't get anywhere near a Bible. Traumatized? What happens? Well, hey, oh, I thought I could like set these guys free or something. Calm. Calm. Oh. What? Run! The Boma is out of control. <laughs> it just breaks free. stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. I'm so sorry for insulting you with my offering. Here, here is more. Again, I apologize. I again apologize. I again. The beasts are growing very restless. It grows day by day. Just as the flames of passion grow in this city, something very wrong is at work here. I plan on talking with my brothers and sisters to see if there are solutions. If the beasts continue to grow out of control, the city is filled with them. The consequences. Space Force has confirmed that a Republic military craft initiated the space battle over our planet. Sources inside the military say the first shots of the massive battle were fired by the Republic vessel, the Ebon Hawk. 
The Ebon Hawk is a capital class vessel and it destroyed 15 Onderon military fighters before being destroyed by Colonel Tobin's forces. Queen Talia is expected to make an announcement later today. Whether her support of the Republic will falter due to this attack is unknown. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? I don't think your business is any concern of mine. While you're at it, tell him to forget he ever saw us. Could be useful. Not only is your business not my concern, I can't seem to remember why I'm holding you up. You should probably go about your business, whoever you are. Oh, uh, don't lose your Starport visa, otherwise you won't be leaving for a long while. General Vaku was an underground resist- Hey, wh what do you think you're doing? This terminal is restricted to military personnel only. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. This spy has been using his position as a journalist to spread lies and dissent among our people. No doubt he's been up to other treasonous activity as well. But that's just crazy! I was a member of the Resistance. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars. Yes, and your disloyalty now deeply sickens me. What do you mean? I like the way you think. Men, let's take the back way to the barracks. But no, no, wait. You can't do this! Oh, I thought I would get influence there. No? Maybe I have to throw H HK or Hanhar at the party for that. In fact, I'll do exactly that. Let's throw in Hanhar, because... Let's hurry Let's this save up. the best for last. I want him escorted out of here quickly. HK. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. What? what, what? I like the... But no... Hey, I didn't see my party configuration. Let's hurry this. Oh, you don't. 
don't appreciate that, Hanhar. Surely HK would appreciate that. I guess we'll try. You guys don't appreciate this this art. Let's hurry this up. Eyes. Come on, HK, tell me I'm awesome. Right? How about that, HK? That was funny, right? Okay, I hate you. You suck. You suck. Oh well. Oh hey, a family that I can ruin the lives of. Please, Captain, help me. My children and I are desperate to get off of Onderon. Do you have an open starport visa? Uh, no. I'm guessing that's the same. Anyway, I'm guessing it's the same thing here, where I, sh I should get influence on someone, but I'm not. That's too bad. You seem like prime opportunities to get Darksiders to support me. I just missed an opportunity to get influence with HK before I walked into the zone. Shit. Ah, uh, and I don't have a I don't have a convenient save anymore. That sucks. Thankfully, I don't need much influence with HK, but still, that sucks. of someone used to adversity a cut above the rabble around here I have a business proposition for you everyone around here begs and pleads night and day for open starport visas very I offer you two thousand does it matter truly Matt I only know of one person who might offer some there is only one thing ultimately more important I want nothing to do with her. No, I don't think so. Ask some. In the Council of Lords today, Lord Dashiel recommended a special commendation for Colonel Tobin due to his brilliant command of our armada in the skies above Onderon. Without him, Lord Dashiel said, the Republic attack would surely have done more damage. Tobin is one of Isis's greatest heroes and deserves recognition. Welcome to what must be. Athorians have been buying them to help rebuild. But the Republic blockade is That's an air defense tower. Towers like these. A Drexel is a flying beast. That's a long st Someone else will it for About 50 years ago, Princess Gallia married. By the end of it, Gallia. 
It's hard to put aside centuries of conflict. Citizens usually only see the... the I, I, times are too... If you... A bit... Stay... Okay. <laughs> I decided to skip through that real fast, obviously. Didn't learn anything that valuable. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You are? Wait, this is not... But this is good news! Watch it, Keg. The captain already has... No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. General Vaclu is concerned about well. I can only sell to off-worlders like you that have the... Of course! Soldiers are only... Oh, everything is great here. <laughs> We're all very happy. So, oh, very happy. Large dan- Or else- Or else? Kawana bota ayuka taigwa kankidora. Ya sora ku tuka ulwanji yuma litba. Shanek ma winbo klelenko sobaramwe. Da hupa bo sakurata go jujutu yoki. Hiata yamba wajiaki yuki totune. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Mogachi norta hirembe wanachi. Kati Mogo Krabu, Drum Pabana Karas Mangra, Kralava Dumba Kumpaile Mokata, Kawana Bota, Yunta Tanga Kinamadura, Tayaita, Tabosanansata. Kawana Bota, Ayuka Tai, Kavadumba Munsur, Kawana Bota. Fereki Mangra do no coherete, Junso. Taracho mos kawana bot on dollar no saka drum pabana karas mangra dobre kun mili adarabi nu koso kawana bota ayu taracho mos kavadumba munsuru dawancha mori kun tonghi Muliwrawa i berendia tia wishnu nunga se utati gramata mandrakotu sa kalala i wisol bu kavadumba munsuru kawana bot Hey, I was supposed to get an influence with Mandalore after that. Did Bear Door being with me mess it up? <laughs> or is this influence guy just uh, out of date here? Let's see. Let's speed through this again. Oh no. Didn't mean to do that. I forgot to save my party configuration again. Really? Uh, this, uh, this guide says this is supposed to be an influence game with Mandalore. Um... 
however, it does it does show this after another thing. So let me try doing it in the order that it shows them. Let's see if that makes a difference. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. It's Jedi whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Yeah. Wait. Exactly. That is all we ask. Close to two thirds of Onderanians want to reclaim our independence to isolate ourselves from the ravages of the Republic, to relive our golden age when we answered to no Senate. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier, but I'll keep my peace for now. If I speak more right now, the soldiers will arrest me. Perhaps they Really? This no influence here either? I don't think I missed a, an important dialogue option there, but I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna kick Beodor out again. There must Exact that Nope. Apparently just no no gaining influence for Mandalore. Okay, I don't care that much. Yeah, I guess the same thing's gonna happen here again. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. The rumor I've heard is that you don't fully agree with our queen and her supporters. If you aren't adverse to Queen Talia stepping down, we could use your help. It would be quite worth your while. I am a strong supporter of General Vaklu. The Merchant Quarter is an important area. Not only financially, but strategically as well. It is one of the few districts that is directly connected to the Royal Palace. 
The Queen and her advisors are well aware of this and have ensured that the captains here are extremely loyal to her. This presents complications for Vaklu. If you could arrange for them to be removed from their command, you will be richly compensated. You can't attack them directly. The entire city would be after you if you assaulted their checkpoints. You may have to be subtle and patient. They don't have to be killed, just removed from command. There's Galisi at the starport. Riken commands from the turret tower, and Bastuko guards the entrance to the sky ramp. All loyal, and all need to be reassigned. He's the most junior of the captains. His superior, Captain Sulio. Besides his strong loyalty to the... He's been responsible for the merchant quarter for years. His years of service won't protect him if he can... A true veteran, years of honorable service. But he's an old soldier that can't adapt to today's... complex... persuasion may be ineffective. For each task you complete, I am prepared to pay you 2,500 credits. Plus, you will earn the favor of some powerful people. We could make your job much easier here. We should try to get General Vaklu to be on our side. He has Very a shrewd influence. mind and is far more fit for command. Queen Talia is young and too idealistic. A veteran leader is what this planet needs and would make a better ally. Vaklu is no fool. Even if we've had disagreements in the past, he'll recognize how advantageous an alliance could be between us. There we go. There's the first bit of influence that it said I should get, but actually happened. Back again. Actually, I wasn't telling you about it before. Like I said, I was warned. Ask around, though. Yes, tell them what you re I don't think so. I know you'd like nothing. What I really mean? General Vaklu. Vaklu may be a war hero. But everything he's done since the war has been poison for us, and the Republic. There are rumors, always spoken quietly, that he has made alliances with dark powers. Things worse than the Freedom Nad movement from our past. I think... That's enough! You may be the Queen's pawn, Riken, but you will not rail against a brilliant general like Vaklu. Can't you see it? He's slick with words, but Vaklu's inner circle are responsible for dark deeds. Anyone that speaks out against him is labeled a rebel spy. You think the Republic needs a few hundred spies in Isis? Most spies are picked up in raids and never heard from again. It's just wrong. I will see you are relieved of your command for this. Your mouth just ended your career. No matter how distinguished your war record is, it is over. I don't know how much more help I'll be. Won't be in the military too much longer. Next time, a little physical force might be better. <laughs> Was that an option? Back again. It's not that. The strength. That's can you. Back. Hmm. Still works. Let's just save a lot of XP. Back again. Is the off? I don't. No commentary from uh, 
Bedlar this time. Captain, you're back. I saw someone over here by the docks, but maybe not. Oh, I must be thinking of that guy. I won't remain silent any longer! The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack oh, our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! no! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. That's right! Death, Death to the Queen! queen. Death, Death to the rise! rise. Grab arms! arms. We, we will march. march! Why are you joining in this? I prefer Vaklu over Talia, but this is hardly a task for a warrior. I hate to lower myself to joining this mob, but your plan may work. You would fight with them? This is madness! We need reinforcements! The off-world joins, joins us! Let's fight these rats! Let's fight rats. these rats! The the rules 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 <laughs> Uh, I can gain influence with the Bay of Dur there instead. Uh, I I have to do that. As much as it's it's one of my few opportunities to get influence in Nadalor, but I, I can't I can't sacrifice this opportunity. I I need him to become a Jedi. <laughs> ah, it's too bad. I, uh, I want to support the riot. But I'm looking at the I won't remain I have silent any longer. There aren't many the Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps In fact, this is my last us. good opportunity for Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If I I will I will not. What? My cause is just 
The queen must bow How to How did I not will. succeed in my... What? My head... Oh, there we go. Everyone... Everyone stop now. How do you resist the first I time? I will go... You continually amaze me. A lot of people would have been hurt. Oh, look at the red on you. You look good, I don't man. know what you did, but thank you, Offworlder. That was too close for me. Listen, I wasn't happy with that, but I did it. Just because I need influence with Beotur. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Fuck. Still not enough, huh? God damn it. Why? So there's another one I can get on this planet. I just don't. I didn't want to do that one, but I guess I can if I have to. You look good though, Beodor. I like the red. Looking good, buddy. Oh shit. Now it is. These are dangerous times. People like Panla aren't making it any easier. You're back to visit me. I've heard the news. Here are the credits we talked about. There's twice. There's. So he, this guy should be down this way. Let me double check. Gillesi. Gillesi. Whatever his name is. Don't know where this guy is. Oh, this guy. The sky ramp is restricted. The sky ramp leads to the I am Captain Bastuco. Twenty years would mean... I was a soldier when the Mandalorians took our world, and I fought it. You mean after the Jedi drove the Mandalorians from Onderon? Such of you could... Onderon was responsible for much of the... General Vaklu is my superior off... The... The... I was... My personal feeling... I have many good years. They said they needed their best men here. But Skyramp, dude. I couldn't do that. Ah, uh, troops, man the. Was that real? Oh, it's that upset. Well, I didn't lose influence with him, but... Yes, Jeff. 
So does that count for it, huh? You're back to visit. Two of the poor captains have lost. No. Here is the sum. I wonder. Doesn't say that's an influence opportunity on anyone, but gotta wonder. The sky ramp is responsible. This terminal is I see. Tina Charam, Granancha, Ganoviso, Toto, Rando Crack, Terrando Nosh, we want a hotto, Ragichi Sar, Donacinto, Noro Pipa, Shakani, Ragichi Sar. Donacinto noro kipa shakani, dato sha nicho toro, punta cha corzo la mare, gotas juna rana nashani, visitisa chula, jum karataka, juna bohrawe, takiya bahasa. What happened to the normal voice that says, la bona no winky smack doma? Come on, I know, I know your language. Why do you sound different? It was smart to not fight me alone. But it was also cute that you thought you had a chance, even with numbers. Dagon Gant's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected. You looking for Dagon? A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. He's certainly capable of it, and probably... It's the turret tower. If you talk to him... I already made... Oh, Reckon didn't go away yet, but I got him in trouble.
They want to Susi. Look at camera and those. There he is. You look like an off-worlder. My name's Galisi. I'm a checkpoint captain. If you're here for Juma Juice, it's not that. Long day, as always. We stand at the checkpoint, so I. Hmm. She was murdered. The same as everyone. People are trying to... But someone's got to take the blame. I... I almost think that investigators aren't really looking... Sulio was murdered. I have a wife and daughter to look after. And I feel like I'm a target. I really am torn. I've gone over this... So the rumors are true. I, I promise. Had to threaten him to get him to leave. Alright, I'm gonna finish this quest with the with, with the captains before I do anything else in here. General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. Visit me. So all three captains have been removed from their posts. You're quite impressive. Here's the reward I promised. I will let my friends know of your able assistance. I'm certain we can return the favor at some point in the future. You've made a powerful ally, Jedi. <laughs>
Malam pro terawan di kasa samca barada watasha konti aja mau berada tiwas. Jeez, I stepped away for 15 seconds and it sounded like that guy stopped in the middle of a sentence. Nice to meet you, Sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? No. The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Ducks aren't Can warm unless you? you've been holding them too long. Foul bit. I thought it was you. I served in the Mandalorian Wars with you. You're a Jedi, right? Who are you? You look like random townsperson B or something. I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? A pity. The Republic needs every capable person they can get. If you'll excuse me. If you'll excuse me. Excuse you. There's got to be something you need. Something you want. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal. Something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you five... I really... Let's just... You have an honest face. I will answer your question. I need to transport Permacre... Many Jedi have fought on this world. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? Because we'll... It's a small universe. I... This room is reserved. Huh. If you have... She's a beast. This room. I see. You can't be the one that fought. Go back to your ship off. This is our part of the merchant quarter. Watch this. Don't you know what's wrong? Have a dumpa, ma. Crap. 
Hopefully good enough to beat round one. That was pretty bad though. No? Yeah, I messed up too much. <laughs> that sucks. That's like that's a minute long race too. That's a little annoying. about two seconds off. Seconds better that time. That was a lot better.
Oh. I still have this, I think. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I just uh, screwed up at the end. Still beat it by like three seconds. <laughs> He's fuming. <laughs> oh, poor little baby. Even though I crashed into a mine, I still beat him. He's, he's mad, huh? Next. What do you think I'm here for? Come on. I'm not here to see how the weather is. Uh, I can't mess up this time. <laughs> We've passed mistake territory. But I've learned the map, of course, so I haven't got you to avoid mistakes. Just gotta make sure I actually follow through on that. Him by four seconds. This last race is getting to tough, huh? To do better than I just did. Oh shit. This is a tough one. No mistakes and like a perfect run. Gotta shift gears and sap. So I get max speed as soon as possible. Fuck! There it is. Can't afford even one of those. Damn. Same place. Gotta be careful there. Hmm. Hmm. I've got that first part of the race down pat. That end with all the extra mines and stuff you have to jump over. For some reason it's getting... It's making me stumble.
bad. <laughs> I messed up the start. I just figured I'd start over instead of even going with that run. <laughs> Oh, I barely did it. Oh, that was close. I was like less than half a second away from losing that, I think. If you'll excuse me. Welcome back. Where's the Republic spy? Do you have a visa yet? I'm still... Who's the spy that... There's a spy and I can give the visa, visa to you and do it. That will get influenced by a dirt. Not Beodor didn't say anything, so fuck that. Do you have a? I don't remember anyone saying that they're a Republic spy. I had faith. So what do you want for it? Here you go. Nope, that's not it either. I wonder. Give one of your open starport visas to the Republic spy. Bayardur will be impressive. Give me influence. I don't remember seeing a Republic spy in here. Does someone say, hey, I'm a Republic spy? Because I don't remember hearing that from someone. Maybe I'm deaf. Certainly a possibility. All right, I'm not going to worry about this for now. <sighs> for now. 
I need that info to be under there. Does anyone identify themselves as a Republic spy? I'm trying to remember now. But it says Cantina, though. But this guy is also not 100% accurate, apparently. <laughs> not with the current version of KOTOR 2 that I'm playing. Republic Spy, Republic Spy. I spy with my little eye. The Republic Spy. At least I wish I did. You have returned! Hey, shut up. Oh, hey, maybe you could tell me about... It's the Offworlder. I don't see how... We certainly do. Captain Sulio. So far... Dagon Kent is the only person... Until we either... Li no way. Where... I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't ask around the there. worst doctors. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing him. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, command will cut him loose. Stay up. Great. Hey, has anyone seen a Republic spy? I have a starport visa. So, you're back. This is... It is worth... No. In your thank the hurry ch man Beodor doesn't even like that I think that's it there's no Republic spy in the starport area so I have no idea what the fuck I'll hang out to it for now and hope the person that I need shows up. I really need Bayonder to get some influence right now. Hey, there's a droid here. Hello. I am 1B AD. Reinitializing. That goes against my primary behavior programming. All market conditions all set to zero. <laughs> awesome. Hell yeah! Give me all this shit for cheap. Not that cheap. Maybe someone appeared in here. Oh, 
What do you want? Not. This room. This room is. Huh. If you'll excuse me. Welcome back. She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were. <laughs> they'd call each other all. That night, Celia was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. Maybe some of these people will know more of. I was cleaning up sh the next. It might be a good. <laughs> Nobody we talked with mentioned a droid. Welcome back. That would be Bohemia's SOD. Who knows? Some when Jake. No, I'm afraid they're. If you'll excuse me. Do you have a visa? I. Let's. Dabadum dovre. Dinor cre lun. Unfe. Watakra tungi. Mula. This room. Huh. That bith keeps buying. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. <laughs> Kawana bota yuta tanga kina matura. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yuta tanga.
Welcome back. If it'll help. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction. Nico, is it? And the off-worlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a manner. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Fahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. I've already given my report, Offworlder. He came from his office, like I said. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sullio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? And well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not going to say any more. If you head over to... Thanks for clearing... We really... Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite plans, but I prefer being out of the Oh, it's Aang. What the hell happened? What happened anyway? to the tattoo on your, your face? Looks like the back end of a dewback. Well, regardless, I owe you and Mandalore one. Not many people can help you out with that. There've been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fall. I know a few people though. Who do you need to get in touch with? Nobody knows for sure. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I'd tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. 
Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one to clean me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as dreadful leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get... Have you found the encrypted all of this? I d There you try this guy. Still nothing. Welcome back. What do you want here, Offworlder? You! Those words will. Oh, how cute. I love a good challenge. guys it's always more fun getting stuff through combat so I, I appreciate the fight Found the encrypted all. 
Have you found great go in there? With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter? You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Come back. I had to figure out who Beodor is happy to give this open visa to. The eyes is swoop by champion. Just talk to me. Do you have a V? I had. Here you go. Yeah, it's definitely not this person. I don't know. I don't think this person exists. They do, they're not in the cantina. Ah man, come on, I can't have missed all the all my opportunities to gain influence with Beodur, right? This isn't it, right? You have returned! So, you're back. Does it matter? I only know there is only... Hmm. <laughs> I almost don't want to save state here, because I'll have to run back, but okay. So, I'm just going to double check. this guy. I don't think it's her either. Which, it's weird that Beodor wouldn't be happy with this. Captain, you're back. Hurry. Man, with that single light side action, the red disappeared from his face. That's how much influence I have over him.
Still not enough for him to become a Jedi, though, apparently. Damn, that single light side point, like, brought him way up to here. That's crazy. Something you need. Dude. This, this person doesn't exist. Hey, Raj. Like, what the fuck? You again. You don't need to see me if you want to be honest. Do, do I know you? <sighs> Man, did I really... Do I really not have a chance to gain more influence than David Dora? That would really piss me off if that's the case. I hope that's not the case. There's plenty of conversations left. So, let's... Come on. Still intend to go through like I let's just go. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on. Let's go, it's fine. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. That clue is no fool. But if the message is true. Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. I feel something. There is a disruption in the force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the oh, meeting is on. Spy the guy straight that to the I cantina. Talk to the, the guy cantina should be and stop talking and, uh, to me. No Fuck. offense, but I hope I never I see messed it again. up! No! That sucks. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. <laughs> You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! It's gonna be tough to avoid hitting innocents in this crowded cantina. Oh, I gained influence here. It's a light side point, but I guess it's worth it. I hate it. What a cost. Stop the fighting! Stop! Sergeant, take care of the witnesses. 
I'm sorry we I need this that. influence of the bay door. No choice. Appearances have to be maintained. And I'm afraid we don't have much time. You've helped out General Vaklu, and he understands how to show gratitude. We have allies, terrible allies. They want you dead. However, the general believes you could ultimately be an even greater ally. Oh, but we have guy. to maintain appearances. Do you understand? I meant no offense. I am sorry. You helped Ander with something that has been a serious problem for us. I assume you want to know more about our ally, a Sith Lord. No idea of the name. Frankly, we had no idea who we were dealing with at first. And by the time we did, it was too late. What I have told you is true. We only deal with their intermediaries. We know it's a Sith Lord, but little else. We need your help. The General believes we can make a new alliance that will be in both of our interests. Vaklu wants to control all of Onderon, and perhaps more down the road. The Republic's time is nearly over, and strong men like him will rule the age to come. You have shown that you are strong too, and he feels it inevitable that you become a force to be reckoned with. We'd like to ask your assistance in dealing with our ally, the Sith Lord. We have much to offer in return. Eventually, we will attack Queen Talia's palace. Isis is an ancient city filled with artifacts from our darker past. Some of those might be especially useful to you. Besides, the Sith Lord wants you dead, and an enemy of our enemy. For now, it's simple. We have to act like you're our enemy. When you leave this cantina, my men have orders to kill you. There is no way they could possibly stand up to you. But they don't know that. Leave Isis, and don't come back until we send a message for you. If the payment I've offered you is insufficient, I assure you General Vaklu himself can offer you a satisfactory deal. You must make a choice. Will you support us, or the Queen? Vaklu is a political animal, but he has never backed out of a deal. The Sith must have changed their arrangements substantially for him to consider betraying them. You can trust his offer. He's far more capable than Queen Talia is. I think allying with him is the best course. Credibility is important in Onderon politics. If he betrayed you and betrayed the Sith, his reign would be a short one. Excellent. You won't regret this decision. We will contact you. Like I told you, the men outside will try to kill you. We will talk later. Funny that you're throwing some of your men just to their death. Uh.
Thanks for watching, YouTube.